Yeah, so not even think about hand holding these binoculars. These are Celestron Skymaster 25 by 100s. And at nine and three quarter pounds, you're just not gonna wanna pick them up for very long, except maybe to freak out the neighbors for a few seconds. But if you put them on a tripod or this nice counterweighted mount, they will absolutely rock your universe at night. Let me take them off the counterweight just to show you around a little bit. They have this nice strong spine going down the keel from the objectives on back here to the yoke. And running up and down that spine, this perpendicular member which adapts to your tripod or your counterweighted arms. One nice thing about this spar running down the middle of the Celestrons, it's really strong. It gives you a nice secure handhold to take your binoculars on and off the tripod. You'll notice that they have no central focusing ring. You focus the eyepieces independently. So it's really two refracting telescopes side by side. These eyepieces rotate through more than 450 degrees, so you should be able to get tack sharp focus on the stars. Now take a look at the exit pupil. That's the bright dot in the center of the eyepiece. It's four millimeters. That looks eerily small compared to the 20 millimeter width of the eyepiece. But it's actually plenty for you to get a good wide field view of the stars. And these big sky masters really can give you that sky walking sensation. The finish on these is this rubbly metallic finish. Now that's a bit of a surprise. Most binoculars in this range are now rubber coated. But it's actually a good thing. Being metallic and not quite as insulated as the rubber coating on others, these binoculars will equilibrate to the ambient temperature faster, which means you won't get as much dew, or quite as soon, or fog on the eyepieces. If you've seen other of our binocular reviews, you know one of the things we like to pick on are these lens covers. And we don't mean to single out Celestron. Practically nobody has figured out how to do this really well. They're always kind of loose and floppy, and they fall off and it only gets worse at night when the metal gets cold. We were maybe just a little disappointed in the level of protection that Celestron gives these binoculars. They come swaddled in this rig, which is a nylon covered fiberboard affair with two straps that hold the binoculars in. You'll see that one of them was actually broken from the factory. And then that whole rig slips inside of this nylon shoulder bag. It's perfectly okay, it's very portable, but we were expecting maybe more of a hard-sided case for instruments this expensive. Now, before you spend a couple hundred dollars on big binoculars like this, you probably want to think carefully about what kind of sky you have access to. Physics plays a cruel trick on us. The greater the magnification from the bigger binocular, the dimmer the image will actually be. So if you're in light polluted conditions or you can't ever get your eyes fully dark adapted, big binoculars like these are not going to really help you that much. But if you have access to dark skies, you can get your big binoculars on a nice rig out someplace far away from city lights. The Celestron Skymaster 25 by 100s will give you a lifetime of exploring the universe. Space.com.